Hey there, adventurers and renegades of the gaming worlds. Welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to hub for all the spicy details and deep dives into the universe of gaming. Today, we're dissecting a curious aspect of Dragon's Dogma 2 that's been causing quite the stir in the community, the prison system, or should I say, the vacation system. That's right folks, we're looking into why getting locked up in the game might be more of a spa retreat than a punishment. So let's jump into the nitty gritty of Dragon's Dogma 2's easygoing incarceration experience. A prison break or a walk in the park? In a world where actions are meant to have consequences, Dragon's Dogma 2 throws a curvy ball by making its prison system about as intimidating as a kitten. That's right, you heard me. For those naughty enough to break the law, getting thrown into the slammer is surprisingly easy to deal with. From the get-go, it's clear that the threat of imprisonment carries little weight with several escape routes that make freedom just a hop, skip, and a jump away. The lackluster lockup. Let's compare, shall we? In The Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, getting caught by the authorities is a genuine hassle. There is a sense of dread and consequence that makes you think twice before lifting that sweet roll. In Dragon's Dogma 2, however, getting jailed feels more like a brief timeout than a consequence of your misdemeanors. With options to bribe guards, craft a makeshift key, or just punch your way through a wall because apparently that's a thing, escaping is a breeze, the missed opportunity. Now, this isn't just about wanting more punishment for our in-game crimes though. Let's be honest, a bit of challenge never hurt anybody. It's about immersion and the sense of risk and reward. The ease of escaping and the lack of any real consequences post-breakout diminishes the game's depth. Imagine a world where your reputation is tarnished, where NPCs treat you differently based on your criminal record or where your actions genuinely affect your journey. That's the missed opportunity here. What could have been? Picture this, a prison system that's actually a challenge, where escape requires more than just a casual stroll out the door. What if escaping made you notorious with a bounty on your head that made every step outside the cell a thrilling gamble? Or for those who prefer to play it straight, the option to serve your sentence, reflecting on your crimes, and perhaps even finding redemption or new opportunities behind bars. The verdict. As it stands, Dragon's Dogma 2's prison system feels like a half-baked feature, a shadow of what it could have been. It's a little slice of life in the game that, unfortunately, lacks life itself. While the rest of the game offers a rich tapestry of adventure and exploration, this particular aspect falls flat, failing to add the depth and complexity that could have made it a memorable part of the gaming experience. So, dear viewers, what's your take on this? Have you found yourself in Dragon's Dogma 2's prisons? And if so, did you find the experience as lackluster as we did? Or perhaps did you enjoy the light-hearted approach to in-game incarceration? Drop your thoughts in the comments below because this is one conversation that's just too interesting to lock away. Closing thoughts. While we might not see a more robust system in Dragon's Dogma 2, let's hope that future installments or updates might bring a bit more spice to the jailhouse. Until then, we'll keep enjoying the game for all its other wonders and quirks. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives and gaming news. Keep gaming, keep exploring, and as always, stay out of trouble. Or don't if you're just looking for a quick break in jail.